like the video, like, like, like right now, like, please, you know what I'm saying? Do that for me real quick this time. Cause like, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, bro. Like this video probably is going to get a bunch of dislikes, a bunch of hateful comments and everything like that, which I'm prepared for. I'm fully prepared for Like I said, I, Hey, I'm willing to accept whatever type of criticism that comes to me. So if y'all don't mind doing me that huge favor, liking it, comment, let me know your thoughts on body positivity before you even hear mine. Then tell me your thoughts afterward. Tell me if I've changed them. Tell me if you just straight up disagree with me or tell me if you do agree with me. Also, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe to my gaming channel, Daquan Wiltshire Gaming. Check out the merch on darksayingang.com. And with all of that being said, it's time to get canceled. Now, before we jump into this video, I want to preface this by saying I already know the typical responses I'm going to receive from a lot of women. You're going to call me fat phobic. You're going to say that most of my comments are deeply rooted in fat phobia. You're going to say things like, if you hate women, just say that, even though I'm going to be talking about men too. You're going to say men be hating on women unprovoked. You're going to skip over the fact that when I talk about men just to say things like that, you're definitely going to say I'm fat shaming. And guess what? You are absolutely correct. I, I'm, I'm joking, bro. I'm joking. What well, kind of? Y'all already know how I am, bro. You know how many people probably click this already just to have something to be mad at? You know how many people click this just so they can be offended by? You know how many people probably were offended by the title and my face knowing the things that I say? So what am I to do with this soft-ass generation? Regardless of what I say, they will find something to break down and be offended by. Now, the only thing I ask of y'all is this. Before you just decide to be offended by the things that I'm saying, make it through the whole video and interpret the actual message. And I know plenty of y'all gonna comment about, I couldn't even make it through half the video, but you got no problem making it through half your meal. Like you fat bitch. Look, man, I ain't even trying to go there yet. Make it through the video without making assumptions before posting your opinion. And also, everything I'm saying only pertains to the people who have full control over their weight. And this is not for the average big people. This is for the obese people, the morbidly obese people. The point where it, it, it's going to actually have a detrimental effect on your health. I talk now, peep. Game! So I'm scrolling on Twitter, and this picture comes across my timeline of uh, these three women. And they received a lot of criticism for their weight. But they also received a lot of support. And a lot of people telling them that they should be comfortable in their own bodies. So today I'm here to ask y'all, is body positivity a good thing? And with this sensitive subject, we'll have to break this down in segments. So we'll start off with fat shaming. Now look, right? I love big women. Y'all know that, bro. I, I have no clue why I do. Like, I just, I, like, I'm not going to say like the bigger the better, but like, like but nigga, I put y'all niggas on three tons of fun. Like, obviously, nigga, bro, it's not that the bigger the better. Bro, I just love fuck. Now you're going to say I fetishize big bitches. Y'all be fetishizing dark skin niggas, though. Like, it, man, come on, bro. Um, Like, I love big women. I love big women. And y'all already know there's always a butt. Like, have y'all big bitches. Just look at y'all stomach. Obviously, it looks like one. You know what I'm saying? But look, there's always a butt. I love big women. But when you let yourself... Get this big goddamn nigga. What is this? The modern day craze song? One big room full of fat bitches? I'm sorry. You know, I, I, I know that was uncalled for. I really didn't mean it. No, I definitely didn't mean it that way. But like, yo, but I know what y'all gonna say. Y'all gonna be like, oh, he's fat shaming that. Like, nigga, how come fat shaming only pertains to women? Like, say, for instance, if a nigga is fat, you can call him a fat ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? With no problem. If a woman is fat, you can't even call her overweight. Nigga, you gotta call her a big girl. Bitch, you ain't no toddler. Bitch, you, you know what I'm saying? What like the fuck? You look like you ate one? Even with the models. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, what, what the fuck is plus size? You know what I'm saying? Like, with niggas, it ain't no such thing as plus size. It's big and tall. And these niggas ain't gotta be tall. Look at Rod Wave fat ass. Nigga, that nigga's just big and big. And you see how I can say that with no repercussions? Rod Wave's fat ass. You know why? Because every time I even cook the fat nigga, nobody's ever said I was fat phobic. But let me say, 
Lizzo fat ass. Y'all gonna lose it. Even with this picture. If this was three big ass niggas in a bathroom, the first thing everybody be saying, you know damn well, y'all fat ass niggas ain't got no business being in that small ass bathroom. Nigga, how y'all fat ass niggas manage to make a locker room look like a stall? And I know what y'all thinking. Damn, he's harping on women. Well, let's see how the tables are turned when it comes down to a man. This guy tweets, I think a lot of women underestimate what it is to have a baby. Then call it postpartum when cracking under pressure. Let's see what the women had to say about that. One woman decided to post this picture of him under the tweet. Let the fat shaming commence. The first woman replies, was waiting for this. Then the second, no wonder he got so much opinion. He in his third trimester. Another one. How can he be so confident he won't have any postpartum depression after he delivers? Then they started quoting it. He has no reason to be fat. If you look very closely at his nipples and belly button, you can see them creating a sad face. Well, tell us from your experience, you minivan built bitch. Well, you built like a woman postpartum. So tell us, sis, what's it like to have a baby? It's always the niggas shaped like meat wise. See what happens when those tables turn? Like I said, with men, there's no such thing as fat shaming. And at the end of the day, if there is, guess what? It actually helps us. Bruh, every time I'm streaming and a fat nigga get up on there talking shit, they get their ass cooked. And guess what they do after that? Tell us how they're going to start their weight loss journey. Dog, this nigga your mother told me got on my stream talking about some. He going to start walking 3,000 steps a day. I said, nigga, I'd be surprised if your ass walked five steps. Look like a fat nigga on Drew Hill. Fuck you talking about. And guess what he about to do? Get his ass up and try to lose some weight. Why? him he said y'all talking all of this shit about me him and red arrow saying we talking so much shit about them that they want to lose weight now look at greek god he tweeted i was at the lowest point in life but you guys grill me every day for being fat help me i wanted to prove to the world that anything is possible you can lose weight too i know you're reading this i promise you just use me as motivation so look at that fat shaman helped him lose weight nigga even myself Bruh, when I was fat before, every nigga cooked me. First of all, y'all already think I'm short and fat regardless. Y'all still say it now. But nigga, when I was fat, y'all called me out every chance y'all got. Now, even to this day, I posted this picture this morning. And then look at my DMs. First DM I get is still fat. Second DM I get, fat bitch. How the fuck you got abs with a hanging stomach? This nigga fat toned. Fat old man. How you fat and buff simultaneously? Fat and fit. You're still a fat. Y'all can read it. And not a single one of those messages offended me. You know why? Because not only do I have thick skin, but I am a man. And there is no such thing as fat shaming. If y'all women did that to y'all friends, then maybe they big asses will lose some weight. Which leads into the next thing. Confidence. Because I know y'all gonna say, what if they don't want to lose weight? Now, now, you don't have to lose weight. I'm not forcing you to do anything. You don't have to lose weight if you don't want to. But at the same time, you cannot fault people for having their own personal preferences and you not being in those preferences. Whenever people voice their dating preferences and they say they do not date fat people, big women specifically, because nobody says it when it comes down to the men, big women specifically, they always say this is deeply rooted in fat phobia. When people say that they don't want to date a morbidly obese person, stop saying that it's rooted in fat phobia. Maybe they just don't want to date a fat motherfucker. Here's where we get to the confidence thing. So I keep seeing a lot of confident big women post this meme and it says, being this fat has never stopped me from getting the dick that I wanted. The, the dick. Not the nigga. See, that's the part that y'all always fail to realize is you can get the dick. Who, who the fuck can't? Y'all always say, Niggas will fuck anything. Nigga, I knew a nigga that fucked a couch before. You fucking think he ain't gonna fuck some 400 pound bitch? Nigga, I fuck a 400 pound bitch. The fuck you talking about? But that don't mean I'm finna date you. Hey, y'all come talking about some, oh, so you fetishized big women? Nigga, I fuck a skinny girl. Like super skinny. Nigga, I fuck an ugly girl. Nigga, I fuck a midget. Like, and, and ain't nothing wrong with bitches because that's the way they born. But like, nigga, I'm just trying to tell y'all to get this with this. Anything getting knocked down. But that not mean I date any of them. And yes, I know it's very hard for the internet, especially Twitter, to believe that people can fuck people that aren't their type. But niggas do it all of the time in the real world. It's just, if you say the shit on Twitter, people are like, oh, you fucking girls that aren't your type. Nigga, yes. 
Like I said, I knew a nigga that fucked the couch. You think the couch was this type? What would you think he had a preference between leather and, and, and motherfucking suede? Like, like, let's be real here. What I'm basically saying is this, that you can't base your confidence off the fact that niggas will fuck you. Like I said, niggas will fuck anything. Y'all even say it the most. Now, as a woman, you can be big and, and still be confident because you still gonna get what you want from men. But as a man, nigga, it's only but a certain few big niggas and you gotta add value to yourself before you can even gain that level of confidence. See, as a man, we know that if we are big, then our confidence is going to come from our success, possibly our looks, or the size of our dicks. But see, as women, y'all have dudes that'll fuck you all the time, so you're already gonna have that confidence. Then on top of that, you have your friends constantly giving you compliments when you are completely out of shape. Like say, for instance, you know what I'm saying? You got your friends in your ear talking about some, oh girl, that, that looks good on you. No, no, it don't. Like, you know it, though. It could barely fit on her. You know what I'm saying? And then y'all be like, oh, be comfortable in your own skin. You can't even find fucking comfortable clothes to fit that skin in. I just don't understand how y'all women can be so confident when y'all be out there trying to buy clothes and be like, oh, I wish they made bigger sizes. You don't think you should just get smaller? Like, you don't think you lose a few pounds to be able to fit what they actually have? For example, in that picture I showed y'all earlier, some girl gonna quote the tweet talking about some, the orange is orange, and the orange is hemorrhaging. Like, what the fuck, nigga? The orange is busting out the bando. See, as men, we gotta be realistic because we don't have friends and we don't have random motherfuckers online that's gonna do that to us. Nigga, if we get online, if it's a group of fat niggas, they gonna get their ass cooked. Nigga, if you got a group of niggas and you're the fat nigga of the group, you know what you are known as? The fat nigga of the group. Bro, these girls be walking around with so much confidence, they don't even know they're the fat girl of the group. And even if they do know it, they don't act like it. Like I said, I live in the real world. Keep it a band. You already know, nigga, if you and your niggas go over to holla at a group of girls and you see one, and out of all of them, there's only one. I ain't even got to say it. Somebody got to take one for the team. Look at me, nigga. I'm ugly as shit. You know how many times I had to take one for the team? Imagine if I was fat on top of that. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm not saying you can't be big and be confident. What I'm saying is if you are morbidly obese, like I stated at the beginning of this video, if you are so big to the point where it's detrimental to your health, then you should not have other people influencing you to be confident at that size. So in conclusion to this video, because obviously we have a part two after this, but in conclusion to this video, I'm not telling you to fat shame people, but be realistic with them. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't got a lot of them. Just like when it comes to confidence, boost their confidence to hit the gym. Because when you are talking to a morbidly obese person and you are trying to boost their confidence in their body that they are currently in, you're not doing anything but hurting them. So with all of that being said, thank y'all for watching this video. I appreciate it, man. I hope y'all like it. You know what I'm saying? I, I already know I'm going to have to deal with a whole bunch of criticism, a whole bunch of, you know what I'm saying, backlash from it. But it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to see if I get canceled. And if I don't get canceled this time, then I'll definitely get canceled on part two. You know what I'm saying? So thank y'all for watching. I appreciate the support. I'm going to holla at y'all. I knew in the beginning I was different Niggas told me slow down, I wouldn't listen Put my foot on the gas and now I get it I look back for my niggas and they was missing I double back and went and got them, I won't leave them Cause don't nothing last